Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Snakebird. I am absolutely loving this game at the moment. Seems like all of you are loving it as well. That's terrific and check this out. You can click on the letters. I felt like showing you that. I know it's not really important. <laughs> Let's jump into the world and I want to start off by saying thank you so much for the support on the previous episode. We got 2,000 likes, that means another episode today and the deal is the same 2,000 likes on this video and we'll do a daily episode again tomorrow. Now let's jump into world 10 here. We're going to do all of these levels in order, I think that's the way I'd like to do it and I want to start off by uh, pointing out that I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to make some more cuts, I'm going to give myself some more time to think before trying to solve the puzzles and then that way I'm hoping we can do them a little quicker and we can get more done in each video which would be a lot of fun. So instead of just playing I'm actually going to take a little bit of time here to look at the puzzle and see if I can figure things out about it before we actually start playing. It could just be that these levels are a little bit simpler. I've been looking at this and it feels pretty straightforward. I've got a feeling something here might catch us out but surely we're able to move like this. Yeah, now we're a little bit longer than we'd like to be and then we fall down. <laughs> it's kind of anticipating something like that. So what if we went... Yeah, then we fall down like that. Okay, so what if we go up first? Now that is almost slightly better. I think what we might need to do here is turn ourselves around. Okay, but now the only way is down. Fascinating. Maybe we go... We tried that one already, didn't we? No, that's the way out! Oh, amazing! Okay, cool. So I knew there was going to be something off with that. Now this one, I think, is a case of finding a way to turn around here. So we go up like this, we end up in a dead end. Maybe we go... and then we fall down, don't we? Of course we do! What else will we be doing here? Let's try going down, just, just going through all the different possible options, really. Kind of feels like... Uh, Maybe there isn't that many options. So the other thing we can do here, do we try going up first? That's not very useful to us anyway. I don't think we can go up and out. <laughs> uh, this is this is definitely a tricky one. How did we do it a moment ago? Because it's kind of like a similar little puzzle, wasn't it? Let's try going down and up and over. No, there's not enough room for it. So what if we approach this differently? What if we went... Oh, can we do it like that? No. <laughs> that almost looked like the solution for a second there, but it's not, is it? You might think I'm slightly crazy for doing this, but if we go like this, we're one block too, too tall, aren't we? So what if we reset, and we make that the first thing that we do is go for this one, then that gives us enough room to come back out. Yep, now we've got to do this one again, but it's going to be slightly different. However, we're a little bit longer. Let's undo that last move. And that's it, we did it. So it's just about getting them in the correct order. That was fantastic, I like that one. And these ones definitely feel a little bit easier. So where is number 11? Let's do this one next. Oh, this is going to be cool. Okay, wow! A lot of fruit, and straight away I kind of feel like I know what the puzzle is, is here. We're so big, we've got to go in there, get all of the fruit and get back out again. And look at the way we started here. We've got no option but to move in immediately. Then we can go up or down. Let's see what happens. Let's just play and try and fill up all of the space. Already, actually, I feel like I've done that wrong. I feel like we should have gone up. So we're trying to fill in all of the space. Ah, now this is where it gets tricky because there's like an odd little bit of space here. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Okay. Maybe we were supposed to go right. See, how do we get that one in the middle there? It's like one off. Maybe you've got to go out and then back in again. That kind of seems impossible as well, just looking at the way uh, the level is laid out. There's a possibility here that we follow ourselves and take a slightly different route out. But is it going to give us enough room to do that? I don't think it is. Look. And now we're stuck. Or maybe... No, that's a dead end as well. Maybe we leave a little bit of ourselves outside? Ah, but then we can't get back in. Huh. Okay, I think I've sussed it out. We need to go through and not pick up a lot of fruit the first time round. We need to get this one right here, but leave those ones out. And then look, we have just enough space to go in again, and hopefully... Look at that, we can pick these two up on the way out. And we did it! Look at that long, long bird snake right there. 
<laughs> Getting the level done. That was that was an awesome challenge. I like it when there's lots of fruit. Okay, so 12 is up above. Let's go for that one then. 13 is down below. And what have we got here? Two pieces of fruit and a worried looking fella. Look at the way... <laughs> look how worried he looks. Oh yeah, when you click on him as well, he does a little, little face thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, see, now he looks all cool again. He looks fine hanging out here. And then, boom. Uh, where are we going to go? Where, let's restart this. Let's think for a second. We can go back on ourselves. We can drop down onto this little island. And then we want to kind of drop down again somehow. Wow, this one looks really, really tricky. Actually, i tell you what I have seen. There is like a little bit of a drop. Oh, is that how we start? That's annoying. Because I want to go... Not like that. <laughs> Yeah, the way down appears to be down here where I'm pointing. If we can get him in the right shape, like we wiggle under here, then we land on this block and our body is up here, which means hopefully we can move over for the strawberry. It should be quite hard to make our way back. This looks like a real puzzler. And yes, it's a puzzle game. <laughs> Studying these levels is definitely the way to go. I kind of did this like first time up until a point, so let me walk you through uh, my thoughts here. We're going to drop down. And then we need to go back up to this one. I can't remember. I think I'm doing this the wrong way. Oh, no, no. That's the right way. That's one too many. Then we drop down like this. Now, your temptation is to go to the left, but you're going to fall down if you go that way. So what you actually want to do... Oh, we've got Q to undo, by the way. <laughs> Little shortcut key there. Is go like this, and then across down to the lemon. And then we come back like this. We drop down, and now we can go over and then get the strawberry. And we're long enough to come all the way back. Um, so what we want to do is go up here, and then to get across the other side, it took me a while to figure this one out, but we want to go up here. I'm not sure if this is going to work, actually. I think I might have done this the wrong way. <laughs> Pretty sure I've done this the wrong way. We want to go back on ourselves like this. Yes, that looks right. And then go all the way across here, and we did it! we done another level. That was a lot of fun, that one. Surprisingly straightforward. Some of the other ones have been a lot trickier. I think it's the one with multiple snakes that has really sort of thrown me off a little bit here. So let's go and do number 13. And we've got two snakes here. So these are the ones that have been a little bit tricky for me. So at first glance, I mean, it looks like going up the top here is a bit of a no-go. But we've also got this ledge. I can't help but feel we might need to use that. Um, but we've got to get one across and then the other. So I think... We're probably going to want the blue guy on the bottom, so the green guy can make his way over. And then the blue guy's got to be able to come back on himself, maybe drop down from above, I'm really not sure. Uh, but if we do it this way, let's just do a little bit of an experiment. Yeah, now you are going to fall down whatever we do. So that's why I think it needs to be the other way around. So how do we go about swapping them? Let's just reset this. Um, I think, oh no, blue goes up. Oh, green might have to give him a nudge. <laughs> And then green can fit into this gap. But how's blue going to get down and not fall? I think I know. Green's going to have to come back round again to help blue out. <laughs> this is this is absolute teamwork right here. That being said, um, blue can't turn into this one unless we leave... I don't think we can even make like a little ledge or anything because this guy's going to occupy the space. So that would suggest that blue can't actually get onto the bottom platform, right? I think that's fair enough to say. So, <laughs> how would we get them across? Uh, maybe green needs to climb up above and then blue needs to stick out like this. So green can go across, fall down, and then blue probably be able to fall down on top of him. I think that's what we need to do. Okay, so let's aim to get uh, green all the way up to the top. So we'll start off by moving you up. And let's see how far along... Okay, so now you need to be like this. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is this is tricky stuff. <laughs> Actually, I think we're just a couple of moves away from uh, from doing this. If we create that shape, then this guy can nudge him over. But now we want him to go down here, but be on the other side. So he's got to. No, that's not going to work. Got to go round on himself. And that is actually possible. So now if this guy extends out, and we flip back to blue. It's a Bluey here. Oh, watch out, Bluey. <laughs> uh, then we can... Didn't we want green on top to do this? I think we did, but this works. And we did it! Oh, man, I'm getting better at this game, that's for sure. 
Look at that, another level done. Terrific little puzzle. I love this game. Okay. That was a lot better than I thought. I thought we were going to struggle with that one. So let's go on to number 14 now in these underwater themed ones. I really like this. Okay, so very sh short snakes here. That is quite the different challenge from what we've seen so far. Um, we've got to turn red around to head in the other direction. And like before, I think blue needs to be on the bottom so red can drop down and then blue can drop onto red. So if red moves up... Wait, didn't I say blue needed to be on the bottom? But that kind of works as well. But now red needs to be on the bottom because otherwise blue's never going to get over there, is he? Into the exit. So we need blue on the bottom. And that is not very easily achieved. Now he can get to there, but how does he get back? Oh, man. I have no idea. This one took me a really long time. It took me a really long time, and then it was like a eureka moment. Um, so, you know, no matter what you do here, really, you can't get the blue guy underneath you, and you can't really make use of this. However, what you can do is get this guy to face in the direction to leave this area and, uh, and move him in there, which actually we have to do a little bit differently. We need to get him over here and then face him in that direction. Then this guy is going to swing around and push him into that space. Um, then you can climb up on top of him and he can move over. And then we can do what we wanted to do all along, which was this. And then let the blue guy come across, go up, and then we go up. And another level done. Man, these are some real brain scratchers right here. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so our next levels are all down below us. Let's do 15. We are absolutely powering through these today. Two snakes again. I love these multiple snake challenges. And a tricky looking one right here. Let's have a quick look at what's going on. We have to obviously get over here. And how are we going to achieve that? Probably by the two of them bridging over the top here and then creating uh, like a little bit of a path behind themselves for the other one to climb up on. So I've got a feeling the challenge here is going to be this first bit. This bit right here is going to be puzzling, then it looks like the back bit is going to be relatively easy, because once they're on that block I think both of them can get out. So it's about getting them both up here, and at uh, first glance what I want to do is... Aha! So getting, on, getting them both on there might be... Uh, oh, no, 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 undo, undo. <laughs> if we go like this, then you can get on there. Let's make sure you don't fall off. Uh, actually, let's undo that one. So you can get as far as that, that's cool. Uh, any more moves and this guy basically falls down. Regard. Oh, no, he can come back again. Okay, that might be how we do it. So now you're up there, but you're not leaving a little trail behind you. Uh, let's go back one more. Let's do it like that. Hopefully that's enough. So then this guy... Oh, he's going to come down here, go up like that, and we're one short, we're one short, no, um, hmm, that's interesting, because, is this, this, they're both four long, okay, okay, that is, that's got me stuck, <laughs> so I spent too long looking at this and confirming that it was impossible and so eventually I was like well then there has to be another way and I think I've spotted it so we have to make like a shape and fall yeah there you go <laughs> look at that so if we bring this guy over he can now go in the exit and so can the red bird and another puzzle done love it well done thank you <laughs> uh, okay what's the next level it is number 16 we are absolutely flying through these today I love it <laughs> Let's have a look. We've got three to work with this time, and we've got to get all the way up there. Now, we've got to get all of them out, so I'm guessing this one being the longest is the guy who can get himself out. So the other two have to go above him. And what we have to do is get them up there, and that looks kind of tricky, because they're both facing outwards. And they can't go out and climb like that. And what we learned in the last one that we... well, not the last one. One of the ones we played a moment ago is that you can sort of nudge the thing here is that their only option at the moment is to go outwards and then they're going to fall so I think what we have to do is get the red guy below them now he's going to fall down isn't he so if we bring you out by one he can't even wrap around oh 
Oh, in oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's let's restart. Let's come back a little bit. If we move you out two and this guy out one, then he's got a way down here. So let's go back around. Drop down this bit. Oh god, it looks scary down there, doesn't it? Now you can catch this guy, and he can get out. <laughs> uh, but then where's Red gonna go? Is Red gonna fall down on his way back out here? He's not. He he's safe and sound. So now Red needs to go down below over here. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, get stuck. <laughs> oh, this one's this one's gonna take a lot of trial and error, I believe, because. We've got to figure out how we move these three around in these small spaces. Um, let's have a look at what happens when we go down like this. Yeah, we go left and then we're kind of stuffed. So, I'm not sure. Alright, this puzzle isn't as hard as it looks. It's just a couple of mechanics you've got to figure out about how you move these guys around and then it becomes pretty easy. So, we can climb down here, we can move up here and uh, move this guy around up to the next bit. Uh, how far we want to move this guy at the moment, I'm not 100% sure. But your instinct is then to go for the blue guy. Well, actually, what you want to do is kind of turn yourself around and go for him this way. And I've got a feeling we should have moved the green guy already again. Uh, but now we can help this guy get up. So let's get him up to the next level. And then we go across and help out the green guy next. Yeah, and I think I've made some sort of mistake somewhere here. Um, yes, I, I definitely have. Let's, let's take a few steps back. I think it was when we first moved the green guy. He's supposed to go a little bit further along than that. Okay, what we're going to do is take one more step back and another one. And we're going to move this guy. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong one. Ah, okay, actually, no, that works. Uh, no, it doesn't because I didn't do what I wanted to do. So now we can get up there. Yeah, that feels right. Okay. Okay, I think this is going to work now. We're going to go down here and help the next guy up. Up you go. Um, then we need to give him a nudge to the next bit, which is like this. And then we need to make our way around here. Is this going to work? Off you go. <laughs> and now we're going to come back and help out the blue guy again. So he's just going to move up there. And he's going to go across. You can see where this is going already, can't you? We just need to make our way back around and up like this. There we go. There we go. We did it. Another one done. Loved it. That's going to be our last puzzle for today. That was terrific fun, that one. And uh, we've got so many more to go. Look at how big this world is. Tons of puzzles to do in the uh, future but as I said at the beginning of this video look at this octopus fella down here now oh, we can click on him <laughs> yeah 2,000 likes on this video and there'll be another daily episode tomorrow truly appreciate the support it's been fantastic hope you are enjoying the videos but that's it from me this episode so as always thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye